Hello, dear colleagues. Let me grant you on this session mass tools of artificial intelligence. My name is Karina Melnik. My colleague Olga Cherednichenko and me are session chairs. Thank you everyone for joining us today. Please turn on your cameras. This is the requirement of uh, our conference. Uh, today we have 18 presentations and according to our schedule, your, each participant has only five minutes to present the results of your work. Then we have two minutes uh, for discussion. In total, we have seven minutes, uh, seven minutes for participant. You can use your presentation or describe your work without using your video materials. So lo let's begin our uh, session. The first, uh, the first presentation is formation of integrated repositories of social and communication data. So you can start. Okay, hello, can I share my screen? Yeah, yeah. One second. Can you see? Yeah, yeah, we see. But I can't, uh, one minute. Mm -hmm. I want to open on full screen, but, oh. Uh, so uh, the topic of our paper, uh, you have heard, and the authors are the group of scientists from uh, different universities, from Lviv Polytechnic National University and Ivan uh, Pulu National Technical University. And also uh, one author is from Lviv National Library of Ukraine named after uh, Stefanik. Um, study informatizations of all uh, life spheres encourages changes in the social, cultural and political life of society and changes in the nature of social communications, which are transferred from the plane of interpersonal communication to the electronic uh, remote information um, environment. And in the context of the formation of society and it is meant to provide unities uh, for rapid and high quality access to information that plays uh, a role of significant um, social for, of process support um, in the resource and social communication networks of a smart city is the organization of data warehouses and IT multidimensional data analysis uh, that is called uh, OLA, o, OLAP, uh, Operational Analytical Data Processing. Uh, some scholars uh, tend to use the term of convergence when it comes to cooperation of libraries, archives and museums. And this approach makes sense if we, em if we emphasize the functional, semantic and uh, mental differences of these institutions. Also, it is believed that uh, the convergence um, of LA as a process of convergence of unrelated objects accompanied by the acquisition of uh, some common features took place in the pre-digital period of cooperation between uh, libraries, archives, museums, when it took the form of joint exhibitions, uh, some um, uh, semantic associations, and so on. Uh, if it is talk about uh, combining digital collections of these institutions, when each exhibit uh, is presented in the form of an electronic document, it is possible to access the entire set of these documents um, from a single access point. And uh, in this uh, case, it is better to use the term of consolidation. Uh, in a broad sense, consolidation, it is uh, means strengthening, strengthening, uniting, integrating, grouping uh, of something. And uh, a consolidated information product uh, from the point of view of our study it can be electronic uh, resources of, so of certain social memory institutions selected to facilitate uh, the full uh, satisfaction of a user request and which can be presented by electronic data uh, so it is information in any form, electronic programs, or a, or a, a combination of these types in one resource. And as a rule, they are remote access resources. 
So in this case, in this case of uh, electronic resource means the generalized concept of an electronic document and other types of electronic information, including local and global information networks and technical means to provide access uh, to them. Uh, speaking about uh, some uh, characteristics, uh, one second, uh, that, uh, uh, so uh, data warehouses uh, for storing information uh, entities in the social and communication networks uh, in a smart city have a set of features. Uh, all these features you can see uh, on the slide. And if you speak about the um, data aggregation, the scheme of this data aggregation in data warehouses for social and communication networks in a smart city is presented in this uh, figure. And uh, the generalized representation of uh, data warehouses on information and technological support of processes in social uh, communication networks has such features as uh, subject orientation, uh, integration, time uh, data binding, and irremovability. If you speak about subject orientation, so data in this uh, Case are organized according to the main aspects of uh, activities of urban social and communication networks and the correct organization of data warehouses uh, of social and communication networks in accordance with the subject oriented approach allows uh, significant simplification of the procedures of analytical processing. Speaking about. One minute left. Okay. Uh, so. Um, a formalized description of these data warehouses of social and communication networks of a smart city is presented uh, in the form of this formula. You can see this on the slide. And uh, considering the peculiarities of uh, the tools of intellectual analytical processing in the process of designing data warehouses for social and communication networks of a smart city opens uh, a set of, of opportunities for more accurate disclosure and presentation of data collected in uh, the relevant collections. Uh, one of the key uh, components of process support uh, is the organization of storage of uh, of storage and IT multidimensional data analysis. Uh, so uh, this multidimensional analysis of data on process in urban and social uh, communication networks in turn involves research and, and analysis of the characteristics of municipal social and communication resources, including uh, the choice of attributes used to parameterize the information model. This model is on this slide. And uh, to conclude, so uh, our paper presents the information technology of uh, multidimensional data analysis in uh, urban social and communication networks based uh, on the methodology of building data hypercubes. This allows uh, some the classification and parameterization of many categories and attributes used to describe uh, the process in social and communication networks in a smart city and uh, led to the formation of multidimensional uh, data models uh, used in the formation of prototypes of uh, data warehouses. And this approach uh, simpl simplifies and increases the efficiency of not only the institutions of social memory, but also the uh, social and communication environment in general, increases the efficiency of technologies for processing information flows uh, uh, that are circulating in it. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your presentation. I have several questions for you. First of all, how do you clean data from uh, different sources and how to avoid the duplication in the aggregation process? Uh, like, uh, we propose this formula to do this, but uh, uh, Data was uh, like one one of the authors collected this data, and maybe uh, you can find more information in our paper. I 
uh, can't answer for sure on this question, sorry. Okay, um, what, uh, what if uh, I uh, ask you another question? Uh, which process and methods of data have you been used in your research? Do you know? Which process of what? Processing methods of data did you use in your research? Uh, we use, uh, uh, one second. Uh, methods? Yeah, mathematical methods. Mathematical apparatus. Oh, sorry. No, maybe it's statistical methods or something. Yeah, yeah, yes. We use statistical methods and uh, to calculate this uh, dimensions in this hypercubes. And uh, some uh, uses some information from this social and communication networks in a smart city. And also uh, like uh, this multidimensional analysis. Okay, thank you for your answering. Thank you for your presentation. Thank you. Next presenter uh, and uh, our presentation is formation of virtual tour with the use of augmented reality information technology. Uh, yes, can I present my our work? Yes, yes, you can. You have do, do you see it? Uh, no, oh, we saw previous uh, presentation. And now? No, actually. How can I stop? Ah, I see. Stop. We see your presentation. Is it okay now? Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, uh, so the topic of our research is formation of virtual tours with the use of augmented reality information technology. Uh, the um, the purpose of the study is to develop augmented reality information technology for the construction of virtual tour of the buildings of the Polytechnic National University. And the main Could you do full screen, sorry. Could you do full screen of your presentation? Uh, press the button F5. Yeah, thank you. And the main objectives of the research are uh, Conducting system analysis, development of a conceptual model of augmented reality information technology, development and display of uh, algorithms, of work of components of the, of the augmented reality information technology. Uh, to build the tree of problems, certain problems are additionally classified according to their affiliation to the functional areas of activity. The top contains a uh, general, general side initial problem and then from the top of bottom problem cost and then problem consequences. Uh, so I will be in brief uh, presented because uh, the wide uh, aspects of the, our work is presented in the paper. Uh, so um, during the development of the software which provides the possibility of working on the university buildings, the necessary stage was a design of the structural scheme, which is shown in, in this figure, the information used by the information system is stored on the server. And users can be a system administrator who designs a software tool for building virtual tours by educational institutions, or a user who wants to use a virtual tour with the help of a software developer. The functional uh, scheme or a block diagram of the algorithm consists of functional blocks, which are structurally separate parts, 
elements or devices of the information system and perform certain functions. Functional schemes of the information system are made in the enlarged and expanded form. In this first, first case, the diagram shows the most important blocks of the information system and the links between them. After going to the site, the user gets to the main page of the information system where uh, he is given the opportunity to perform several operations, including review of the latest news, receiving contact information, use a virtual tour. In this uh, figure, the algorithm of activity of the user after transition to the main page is displayed. Uh, in this this uh, diagram of options of for using the information system for the website of the virtual tour by the buildings of the Lipo Technical University, uh, the actual essence is a user who is configured for the following usage options. Uh, the same view the image of the main body in the uh, 360 degree panorama approach and removal of objects related, uh, objects located on the territory of Liverpool Technical National University, review of information added in the form of augmented reality and feedback. Uh, a precedent that has an include red relationship means that after the execution of one precedent, it includes the execution of another with, with uh, which it, it is in interconnected. Mm. Uh, so also we use function mod modeling methodology uh, of uh, description for description of process, which is designed to formalize it and describe a business process. In the same way, all um, management processes are displayed. It should be noted that uh, this model is convenient and successfully used for the formation of management processes of our project and will contribute to the effective modeling of administrative and organizational process of its implementation. The context diagram shows what data is fed to the input and what is the result of the information system. Uh, the context diagram presents the works that uh, represents the activities of the website as a whole. And uh, considering that Liverpool Technical University is the, oldest tech, is the oldest technical institution of higher education in Ukraine and Eastern Europe, uh, uh, its history in the institution was headed by leading scholars of the region. And uh, these are slides from our uh, project virtual tour. You can see the portraits of our uh, headers and it is possible in any way to uh, to, to make large it and to uh, get acquainted with information uh, about every person. And conclusions, the research is aimed at creating a web application for the formation of virtual tools of the buildings and the edges and territory of the Technical University with the use of information uh, technology. Uh, the virtual tool will be useful for internet students, tourists who will be able to get acquainted with the structure of architectural features or we protect national university remotely. And thank you for attention. I think I don't spend a lot of time. Yeah, thank you. Um, you showed us only context, way, uh, context level of IDF uh, X0 uh, diagram and uh, I have uh, questions for you. Uh, could you describe different stages uh, of this diagram? Uh, maybe it's better you get acquainted with this information and with the other information about analysis of development tools in our paper. Uh, could you open the previous slide? The, yeah, here, this slide. Could you describe the stages of functions here? How to create, uh, how it's created your software? I think it's uh, our co-author could uh, describe it better. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you know which methods of augmented reality did you use in your uh, research work? Mm, I can't exactly say it, sorry. Okay. Does anyone uh, has questions for this presentation? No, uh, thank you for your presentation. Thank you. Next presentation.
is improving item searching on trading platform based on reinforcement uh, learning approach. Hello, everybody. Colleagues, let us share my screen if I manage to. Yes, you have permissions for do it. Just a second. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Yeah, yeah, we can see. So, dear colleagues, today I'll uh, tell you about uh, our attempt to improve item searching on trading platforms. Uh, here you can see our team. I'm sure that you had opportunity to look through it and the agenda. So the um, question uh, which we tried to search uh, was uh, connecting with uh, online shopping. The significant growth of my online shopping, it um, caused some problems. Um, customers, uh, they face the huge amount of products on websites and they duplicate each other. And there are actually two types, two big types uh, of uh, customers. Some of them exactly know what do they want to buy and they try just to find the best offer with a lower price or better shipping, something like that. But others, uh, they um, have just the unsatisfied demand, but they don't know which uh, type of product they should buy, which exactly certain attributes uh, this product should uh, have. So in order to simplify the process of choosing products, uh, we decided to re reduce the amount of product and grouping them according to their attributes. Uh, so we have uh, two main questions. Uh, it's to combine similar products uh, from different offers on different e-commerce uh, websites and uh, find the right uh, response uh, request uh, request uh, how to receive uh, exactly that project that we need so here you can see the uh, general idea the pipeline which was developed by uh, our team and uh, <clears throat> uh, i'll explain the main steps uh, which we do there uh, the first one we uh, gather, it was uh, the pre processing um, step. Uh, we gather data and uh, we have chosen the website uh, eBay. Uh, it was uh, just an example of, uh, about uh, it, I'll tell later. And um, we uh, gathered information and um, built a core of text. Then, when we already have core of text of the, um, with the core words of product which we want to buy, uh, we try to interact with websites and um, to find similar product to that um, um, item which we already have chosen. First, we push the query and receive some requests. So in requests, we receive list of items. And we try to understand whether the items are relevant, whether they are um, similar to our ideal item, which we already found. Then we parse item titles from the response query and uh, measure the similarity of uh, attributes. Uh, in that way, we try to find uh, the similar products. Actually, we don't know how many uh, items uh, which are similar to our are on each website. And the optimal amount of item responded by the web website can be found just by uh, experimenting. So uh, later I um, uh, give you some examples. So uh, we uh, suppose that these types of sneakers are similar. So we try to find the sneakers uh, 
uh, on different websites. We have chosen three of them, eBay, Aliexpress, and Amazon, and try to find the sneakers uh, um, having already the core of text. So here you can see the list of words of our core of text, uh, which were developed at our previous step. And here the key ideas um, when we try, uh, we denote uh, the item, the ideal item, uh, K is the set of groups of items and the attributes of its group groups of items. So we've done several experiments and now uh, you can see uh, some results. I'll explain them. Um, it found out that whereas we trained uh, our um, model on uh, eBay and our, and our call of text was found on eBay, we received better results on uh, eBay website. On uh, the AliExpress, uh, we um, had bad results because uh, there were too long requests. Uh, AliExpress uh, searching line, it uh, allows uh, only up to 50 symbols. It means that seven, uh, uh, approximately seven words we could use. So we had more than. By the way, on eBay, on eBay we also uh, didn't receive the total coincidence uh, uh, of, on descriptions, but still they proposed uh, sneakers. We can see them and they are white as it was uh, supposed to receive. On the Amazon, um, one we, minute left. Oh, sorry. Uh, we received um, also sneakers, but they uh, don't fit uh, our um, request totally. So here you can see uh, some uh, um, results which we received on experience. So the idea was to uh, do experiments uh, and uh, to see the reaction of the system, whether we receive better or uh, good results. If we receive relevant result, uh, we um, analyze it and try to receive more similar sneakers. If not, uh, we take a step back. Uh, so, um, here you can see the um, results which we received, so they are similar to our request. And uh, what is the conclusion? That this model works and we can really uh, receive um, uh, sneakers on uh, different websites using this model, but experience also indicated that the successful results we received on that uh, e-commerce platform where the call of text was made. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. I have any questions for you. How to check the relevance of found products? Uh, okay, we um, compare the uh, attributes uh, which uh, has uh, each uh, uh, found that uh, product with uh, that uh, attributes which we have on our ideal uh, item, which have already was defined. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Does anyone has two questions? Thank you for your presentation. Thank you. And now we have presentation as a criterion of optimality in the convex vector problem of opt optimization. Hello, dear colleagues. Hello. Just a minute. The criterion of optimality in the convex vector problem of optimization. Um, problem of optimal control uh, for organizational system requires solving um, problem of multi-criteria or vector optimization. The problem of material optimization for the several practical function of the objective is referred um, to as multi-parameter optimization. The most accurate name of the problem one, vector optimization, implies that the simulation optimization of the components um, of objective function vector where the issue is about. Uh, into the sense particular objective function one can form the vector where components are particular objective function two. The problem can be called multi-criteria. In the end of the door, to uh, decrease the complexity of the problem two, we define it as a problem with the many function of the objective or the problem or vector optimization. It is um, an already simple problem. You have find vector X bringing the minimum immediately uh, 
to all components of the target vector. Method of solving problem um, of the vector optimization differ in the way of the additional organization. Uh, the global criterion method implies ranging uh, of the criteria and objective significance. Um, in such a case, it is solved simply, but you have uh, to desire by yourself that a global criterion is. Method of forming um, uh, objective function, you follow polynomial model of kind. Uh, objective um, coefficient, i.e. a normalization which provides of Lagrange in the problem uh, with Lagrange function, which leads uh, to Lagrange problem uh, with minimization of constraints influence. Uh, it also is possible um, uh, or with uh, structural limbs and uh, feedback present, um, it is sustainable uh, to use a polynomial model. Um, the given approach uh, is called signal optimization and based on the method of geometrical programming. Min-max methods are based on the forming benchmarks. Uh, Priority of Pareto are the method based on the determining uh, of an extremum of having necessary condition. Uh, let's introduce. Um, so, so we come the problem, uh, which leads to Lagrange problem with Lagrange function, uh, modern method. Um, Mm. Uh, of factor optimization can be considered as variants of solution for Lagrange problem, uh, which allowed us uh, to set up the problem uh, of strict argumentation for the optimization criterion in the problem of factor optimization. Uh, we consider that um, function uh, to be more specific, we will talk about the minimum of the function as is uh, general accepted. Um, in the case, the stationary condition uh, as a necessary condition has a form of the matrix actuation. Um, as it is down, uh, show, show about uh, to find the minimum of the vector objective function, uh, it is required to introduce additionally M uh, of relation. Uh, we add the standard method of contained variation, uh, except um, that the objective vector itself is used as a constraints vector, where vector R is determined uh, by the value of objective vector uh, in the point of minimum. Uh, such a case, we have a vector problem with the constraints uh, of equality type by analogy. Uh, Lagrange function for the given problem has the following form. Um, in this case, the necessary condition of the minimum take form. We, uh, the obtained set of equation doesn't have a solution uh, since the quantity uh, of variables doesn't uh, correspond um, to the quantity of links. As uh, additional links, we will introduce the assum um, assumption uh, about convexity uh, of all particular target function. Uh, in this case, dual to dual future to be obtained um, minimum uh, and whose mm, contains take on the form condition. One minute left. Yes. Of, mm, um, the target function vector uh, using the uh, condition we obtain, uh, which provide uh, two points to particular minima uh, x1, zero, and x2, one, figure one, to solve the problem with vector function um, of target, we will introduce the constraints. Uh, in the problem Lagrange function have the following form. Um, necessary condition uh, from the links uh, we obtain uh, since the optimum points uh, is Maybe we have some uh, technical issues. Karin? Uh, yeah, maybe. 
because I see all particip participants, uh, but we don't see uh, Andrei Sokolov. Maybe some technical issues it, it yeah. can be. So we have the only minute for the end of this session. Uh, and I suggest to continue the next session at uh, 10 to 2. No, we could. And, and, and start with the uh, next presentation, okay?